What's going on guys? In this one, we're gonna be making a quick, easy, and absolutely fantastic beef tataki. If you don't know what that is, it's eye fillet steak, seared rare, served alongside a beautiful umami tangy dressing on top of a nice, easy salad. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright guys, let's start us off by making a delicious dressing for our beef tataki. In a small saucepan, add one and a half tablespoons or 30 milliliters of cooking sake, which is both salty and sweet and will also help tenderize our beef, as well as one and a half tablespoons or 30 milliliters of mirin, which is similar to sake, but a little sweeter and kind of like a dessert wine, but the flavors are a lot more subtle. With this, place it over a high heat and bring to a simmer, and once simmering, turn it straight off the heat. To this now, add in two and a half tablespoons or 50 milliliters of soy sauce for that rich umami flavor and one and a half tablespoons or 30 milliliters of rice vinegar to give this a nice acidic punch. For the next ingredient, we're going to need one clove of freshly peeled garlic and using the side of your knife, push down with the blade facing away from you to crush the clove and activate the allicin compound, which is what gives garlic its strong pungent flavor and aroma, then add this to the saucepan. Last but not least, get yourself one large orange, and we're only going to need half of it, but with this, slice it in half, saving half for whatever you'd like to do with it, and with the remaining half, extract the juice, either using a citrus juicer or your hands, and add the freshly squeezed juice into the dressing for a beautiful, fresh, and light citrus flavor. Give this a quick mix to combine the ingredients, allowing them to become friends, then pour this into a clean vessel to then place in the fridge until it's completely cold, and this will also last two weeks in the fridge. For the prep, we're going to need one small white or red onion to which we can slice off the tip and root, slice it in half, peel off the skin, and save the scraps for a stock. With the onion in the half moon position, thinly slice this as best as you can, and once you get to the opposite side, lay it down flat, which will make it safer and easier to work with, then place the onion into a bowl. Next, here is a 200 gram or 7.05 ounce piece of Chinese radish, also known as daikon, and to this, peel off the skin, try not to keep getting it stuck on the edges like I do here, then once peeled, run it along the larger side of the box grater to get nice thin pieces, and this can also be placed into a bowl. The reason the onion and daikon being placed in a bowl is because we now want to cover these in cold water to rehydrate them, and then place them in the fridge until we're ready to serve. As for the main ingredient in this dish, here we have two large eye fillet steaks that have a combined weight of 500 grams or 1.1 pounds. With these being at room temperature, heavenly season them with sea salt flakes, flipping them over to do the same on the opposite side and this is going to help give us a perfect crust. Once seasoned with sea salt flakes, do the same process with slightly less cracked black pepper, flipping them over again to season the opposite side and once that's done, place them onto their side and roll them in any seasoning laying around to avoid wastage and of course give these bad boys the seasoning they deserve then what you should have is something that looks like this. To get these cooking place a pan onto your stovetop over a high heat and once the pan is smoking hot pour in one and a half tablespoons or 30 milliliters of peanut or olive oil. Let's now carefully and gently place in our thick with three C's, eye fillets, and sear them for one and a half minutes undisturbed or until it's looking beautifully golden brown. After one and a half minutes and we have this beautiful golden crust achieved, flip them over and repeat the same process. Next, these can be placed on their side to get these golden all over and all we want to do is gently roll it around to achieve that golden crust. After that's all done, these can then be gently removed from the pan and place them onto a plate to rest and cool down for 10 to 15 minutes. Now that these beautiful eye fillets have cooled down and those juices have redistributed from resting, we can move on to the final stages. Speaking of that, give your meat a slap for good luck, then with a really sharp knife, come through and slice this as thin as you can, which will reveal that amazing rare center. For this dish, I do recommend cooking it like this as it's the best to have it this way, but I know rare isn't for everyone, so I've included the cooking times and temperatures for you in the description below, just in case you prefer something else, but please do not cook this well done, it will simply ruin this amazing dish. As for serving this up, start by placing down some fresh and washed rocket or arugula or watercress in the center of a large plate, place over some of the thinly sliced white or red onion that's been drained from its water, and then do the same with the grated Chinese radish or daikon. Once the first layer is down, pour over a few spoons worth of that tangy rich umami dressing with the amount being up to you. I just like to give basic guidelines and you can skip all of this altogether and just chuck all of the ingredients in a bowl, but this way looks way better. 
After some of the dressings been added, we can now add on the thinly sliced rare beef, evenly spreading it across the top of the other ingredients, then come through with more dressing, ensuring we get that beef all soaked up. Place over more of the thinly sliced and drained white or red onion, again with the Chinese radish or daikon, and finally, again with that delicious tangy dressing. Last but not least, place over some snow pea tendrils for a nice little garnish to then leave us with this beautiful, fresh and extremely tasty beef tataki, which is perfect for any time of the year as well as any sort of food setting, whether it be a party, a gathering, a snack, lunch or even dinner. The only thing left to do now is whip out your chopsticks, ruin the presentation and we can then dig in. So there we have it. This recipe right here serves two and like most of my recipes, it can easily be double, tripled and so on or halved if you wanted to make less. As for storage on this one, it will only last two days in the fridge once it's been assembled, just because that dressing will start to wilt down all of the other ingredients and that beef will start to get a bit dry. But if you haven't assembled it or if you have spares left over, the beef will last up to four days. The salad stuff should last up to about five days and that dressing will last up to two weeks. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment, share, do all of that stuff. It really does help my channel out and consider subscribing along with hitting that bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe and enjoy.